first of all, happy birthday. It's Thank your birthday. You. Thank you. And oh, wow. 25 again. 25 again. Yeah. And not only are you spending your birthday with us, but then, of course, you're going to go and you're going to do your show yeah. live yeah. Uh, at 10 o'clock tonight for two hours. Is that the perfect way to spend a birthday, surrounded by a panel of people talking about what happens in the news every day? As opposed to with Seth Meyers. Yes, it is. Actually, I... I, I well, thank you. Uh, I, I love what I do. That's it's great. a great way to spend my birthday. And it, what we're covering now is so important, so I can't imagine any other thing, any other way, except for maybe with my partner or with my family. But. Well, I'm so... I think you do a great job. Thank and you. I also want to just speak to the level of difficulty anyone who has to manage a panel has versus what I get to do, which is, I have you here, you're the only person I have right. to talk to. It's very easy. Right. I don't have to finish talking to you and then say, and now you hate Don Lemon. So, <laughs> or someone is yelling at you behind yeah. you or in a satellite right. box or in your ear, don't say that or and, and get so, to the Yeah, break. exactly, because sometimes yeah. they're not even there. How right. much, I guess my question is, how much of it is that organizing in your head where you're going to go next and how you keep it all uh, in the uh, juggling uh, in, in the air? I try to be fair and not let people talk over each other or let other people talk too much, but I want it to be organic. A, a conversation. I try not to, you know, ask canned questions, but it's tough. Sometimes I forget people's name, uh -huh. and I have to look at my card, the blue card, and go, wait a minute, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. That's Chris and not Rob, right? right? Sometimes I get it wrong. But Do you do a lot of like, hey, buddy, what about you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, but it's always, you know, and what do you think? Right? Yeah, right. But it's, sometimes it's really easy because all you have to do is say, you know, Seth. Right. And then just let someone talk. Well, that's the other thing. I will say everyone on those panels, they're basically wind-up toys who are ready to go. If you, <laughs> if you turn it over to them, it's not. I've never seen anyone on a panel say, you know what, Don? I got nothing to say about this. And, I... <laughs> and when we do, we mark it because every once in a while we stump people and they say, you know what? I really don't have an answer to that. So Now, one thing that we've been talking about on this show is it's this crazy thing that happens now, which... Donald Trump will suggest something so far afield of conventional wisdom, and yet because he's the president, because it's the news, yeah. you actually have to have a panel and talk about this yeah. stuff. Like we should have a rating system for yeah, movies? Yeah, for movies. So he says that, and then, <laughs> and then you have to go to and like say, like, yeah. what do you have to yeah. say about this? Yeah. Totally nonsensical thing. <laughs> you talked about it in I Saw It with yeah. Paul Blitzer. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, and I try not to um, engage in, in that, and I will say, you know, I do give a point of view on my show, which is interesting. I think people find interesting for CNN. I do give a point of view, and I'll say that's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. we, we can be fair, we can be open-minded, but we don't have to be stupid. Um, and, and, but yeah, seriously. Yeah, that's very fair. I, one issue was arming teachers. And, yeah. you know, I come from a long line of teachers, and no, none of them want to be armed in school. Yeah. Um, do, do we want security in school? Absolutely. But do, you know, do you want your teacher? Do you want Coach Edwards to be armed? I don't yeah. think so. My mom was a teacher, and if she ever had a gun, uh, so many things would have had to go you wrong. You might not be yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, exactly.